Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Smith. Today's topic is SIBO and biofilms. I am an integrative medicine doctor, and so I deal with this on a regular basis. So the first thing we want to know or talk about is exactly how do these things build up. And you can see from this diagram here that they build up gradually. They start with attaching to the bowel wall, and then they start growing and forming this mucus. This is key because this mucus protects these bacteria, and then they start growing, and then they reach a phase where they stop and they start spreading. And then they re renew themselves by sending more bacteria to attach. And what, what we're seeing here is the mature biofilm. And I want to point out several things to you. This is normal cells. You notice these little black spots here. These are tight junctions. These are what keep things in the gut from getting into the bloodstream and where they can cause all kinds of havoc. There's also passages through these biofilms where nutrients can flow and also information. Uh, they have a process of communication called quorum sensing where they can send chemical signals to each other and then they can act in unison. Uh, sea creatures that uh, luminesce do this by quorum sensing in their biofilms and they all turn on. In humans that might be eating a meal with too many uh, ref uh, refined or simple carbohydrates and the bacteria get a load of them and then they'll turn on a chemical and what you will feel is brain fog and fatigue. You probably won't light up. Then you see here where it's damaged so these biofilms do cause damage and they also shorten the villi. The villi see they're shorter and this is where they get through. And then here you show there's an eruption because they'll go on to spur out and form more biofilms where there's uh, areas that haven't been attached yet. So that's the process that we're trying to fix. So on our next slide we're going to see um, how we go about this. Okay at this point we're going to start to see how we treat these. The first thing we do is we, or have to do is break down this mucus that's depicted here as this green Here's a bacteria in there and other little organisms. This is what protects these bacteria. So if you have an antibiotic or something like that, you'll get a little, but you're not going to really get it down. Showing this Cyboese Plus, which has two things in it. It has some enzymes that are specifically designed to break down the mucus in biofilms. Now I use Cybo and biofilms uh, together sort of as the same, but in the gut, almost all bacteria is in a biofilm, but SIBO is when it gets big like this. SIBO is really just a big biofilm. Small biofilms are okay, and, and healthy biofilms are okay, but these are not. So you start to see this mucus breaking down as the enzyme comes in, and this enzyme has to be given on an empty stomach. If you give it with food, it'll just break down the food and will have no effect on this mucosa. So then, it's grabbing the heavy metals as well. There's metals and, and, and not necessarily heavy metals, but this mucus is reinforced with minerals. And so the EDTA is in there to bind up those minerals so they don't reform. Okay, in this diagram, we're showing the second phase of the treatment. We've already added the enzyme and started to break down the mucus exposing these bacteria. Here come the killing agents. And so the killing agents are now applied to expose bacteria. And you'll notice that this biofilm is decreasing in size as we work on it. And over time, we are going to be using more enzyme and increasing doses of killing agents so we can take off more and more of this. We do not want to do this process too quickly or we'll get what's called a Herxheimer reaction 
where too many bacteria and their chemicals are released into our system, causing us to have a flu-like symptom. That's completely not necessary if you do this correctly. I do want to point out up here, it says 15 to 20 minutes. That is the time between the t you give the cyboese and you give the killing agent. You want to give the cyboese some time to knock out the mucus before you apply the killing agents. And the other thing to remember is you're going to be increasing the dose of the killing agents and also the cyboese as we go through this process so we get more and more depth into this biofilm. This is stage three, that's to clean up the mess. Because if you leave these bacteria in the system, they can be reabsorbed themselves and they can cause side effects. So we wanna get this mess out of here. And up here, we're showing the use of pectisol, which is our fruit pectin or charcoal or GI guard, which is a form of clay and charcoal. All of these will work. And what they're doing here is just binding up these dead bacteria and dead metals and stuff so that they can be excreted in a bowel movement. This is an essential part of the treatment. It's important not to take any vitamins about an hour before or an hour after this because this charcoal or pectisol will just bind those up. So if there's something you need in your system, do not take that with the pectisol. Now this can be done at any time. It can be done about an hour afterwards, it would be good. And let it sit for an hour before adding any supplements. And then you just repeat the process over and over again until the biofilm is cleared up. At that point, we have to go into the next stage of treatment, which is rebuilding the GI tract with nutrients to repair these leaky gut and build these tight junctions again, build up the, the villi. And we do that by feeding the GI tract with several nutrients. The primary one is glutamine. And we'll start to restore that. Then we'll also put in there bacterial food or called prebiotics. The prebiotics set the stage as sort of like a fertilizer or compost that you put in a garden to support the plants you want to grow. If you just put probiotics in there by themselves, they probably won't take. So this rebuild and the prebiotics are important for the rebuild of the GI tract so that we can have a stable intestinal wall that functions right and doesn't give off all these toxins that make us sick and have this brain fog and fatigue. You can buy these products at Agape Nutrition. We have the protocols all set together as a combination. So you can just buy everything and we have several variations of that. Buy the one combo and you're ready to go.